Since the fall of the Soviet Union, a new class of Russian businessmen emerged and built their wealth on corrupt connections with government officials. Now, they are the richest of the rich. They own luxurious homes, planes, and yachts all around the world. But the list of sanctions against these Russian oligarchs is growing. And today, the Department of Justice said a task force is working hard right now to track them down. Correspondent Brian Enton taking a look tonight at where these mega yachts will end up. Brian. Marnie, uh, these yachts, they are like what you would see in a James Bond movie. They are massive. They're almost like mini cruise ships. Uh, and we've learned that taking them away is a complicated process. The West is promising to hit rich Russians where it hurts, slapping sanctions on them that would strip them of their most expensive toys. We're joining with European allies to find and seize their yachts, their luxury apartments, their private jets. We're coming for you, ill-begotten gains. In theory, that is, actually seizing their super yachts, often worth hundreds of millions of dollars, may be tough. Many of the lavish vessels are registered in secretive banks used by the ultra-rich to shield their wealth. And experts say the latest round of sanctions leaves many questions unanswered. I can't remember any case, you know, I've been studying sanctions for some decades, and we see frequently that the assets of the troublemakers are frozen. Uh, they're locked down. Uh, they can't use them, can't get access to dollars or to credit of, from hard currencies. Uh, but the idea of actually seizing assets, this is pretty unprecedented. Some billionaires may be getting worried. This mega yacht linked to Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich left Barcelona earlier this week. But over in Italy, police have already seized at least 150 million from high profile Russians after EU sanctions. The boats are straight out of lifestyles of the rich and famous. Multiple pools, beauty parlors, disco clubs, helipads, all with price tags often over $50 million. But where will they end up? What you have to do is use civil forfeiture uh, in order to take this property. Civil forfeiture is the tool the government has to recover criminal proceeds when there is no criminal case, but when it can still prove that there was a crime and that there's a connection between the property and the crime. And bottom line, uh, Marnie, this is a complicated process. All the experts we spoke to said it could take years. If the U.S. government succeeds, it would ultimately be U.S. Marshals who would seize the boats uh, and they could be later sold at auction. Marnie. Learning a lot more about mega yachts than we knew a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. All right, Brian, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.